Thank you for joining the Eagle Talk podcast. This podcast features members of the Rose Valley Elementary School community. And today we are welcoming our new second grade teacher, Mr. Alvin Hannon III. Mr. Hannon, how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Awesome. We are so excited that you will be joining us this fall, and so we just want to get to know you just a little bit. So please tell the Rose Valley Elementary School community a little about your background. Well, good morning, Rose Valley Elementary community. Uh, my name is Alvin Hennon III. I am a Prince George's County native, as well as an alum of Prince George's County Public School. I graduated from Howard University in 2020 with a degree in elementary education. Uh, and a heavy focus focus in uh, STEM education. Um, STEM education is something I heavily focused on because I was a science and technology student at Charles Herbert Flowers High School and a former computer engineering major before I switched to education. Wow, I love that. We are so excited about this STEM and engineering background because we have plans for you, Mr. Hannon. <laughs> <laughs> So now that we know that we will be delivering our instruction virtually through the first and second quarters, how do you plan to connect and engage with your students and parents? I plan to use all the resources at my disposal um, to make sure that students are getting everything they need from the virtual classroom, whether that be my own um, resources through uh, YouTube, um, as well as using my own experience as an intern when I had to work in a virtual classroom uh, to make sure that parents know what their kids are learning as well as what their kids are learning. Awesome. So I, in your intro, you mentioned that you were a computer engineer major and then you switched to education. So why did you choose education as your profession? I became passionate about education uh, in high school when I was a senior uh, in the internship program at Charles Hunter Flowers High School. Uh, I was an intern at a fifth grade class, uh, mathematics classroom at Ardmore Elementary School. So that, that really started my, my fire for education. Uh, even when I was a computer engineering major, I didn't see myself behind a desk fixing computers. I saw myself teaching uh, young black kids how to code and how to basically make computers. I saw myself uh, being more of the outreach side, but I, I decided that to reach that goal, I needed to actually understand what went into education itself. So that, that's why I picked this profession, and I feel like this profession also picked me uh, because I, I'm a third-generation educator. My grandparents were educators, and I have many other members of my family that are educators. Wow. I, I'm just so excited to, to welcome you. <laughs> so what is one fun fact that you would like to share about yourself? I am a published poet. Um, oh, wow. Uh, That's so exciting. <laughs> yep. I'm a published poet. I, uh, I have, uh, I've been publishing a book of many poems that I, I I did this poem uh, my freshman year of college about um, the gun violence that African Americans face at the current moment. Um, so that that was my piece to add to that book. Um, and I'm a first time teacher. Oh, congratulations! Thank you so much. So, what are you most looking forward to this school year? Uh, being a first time teacher, I look forward to having my own classroom. Uh, meeting all my wonderful students for the first time, as well as starting my educational career, my long educational career. <laughs> I love that, Mr. Uh, Hannon, I, and I just appreciate that you've chosen to start it here at Rose Valley Elementary School. So thank you so much, and we look forward to hearing more from you. I'm excited that you're here, and I just want to say congratulations. I'm excited as well. Thank you so much. 
Absolutely. So guys, this is Principal Porter. You have been listening to my chat with our new second grade teacher, Mr. Alvin Hannon III. We are excited to welcome him and you will be hearing more from him. Thank you so much. And as always, remember that we continue to strive for five.